Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dunkster One, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news update. This is from Holiday Park. Now of course this is, if no, if um, people don't want the aqua park, this will be the last one from that Pops of Fan Day presentation by the Pops of Park group. Uh, again, Pops are updates for the images, thank you very, very much. Uh, but this is Holiday Park. Now I'm not going to talk about 2020 uh, with the Dino Splash, the re-theme of that Thunder River Rapids ride. Uh, but we've actually got some information and some plans and some on-site stuff from 2021 and the new Vi Viking area uh, that's going to be coming to Marjolaine Caranati in the future and of course it's already at Pops on Japan. But we've also got some stuff for 2024 as well. Now of course in the Pops of Coup video we talked about uh, them doing a hotel in an indoor area. More on something like that a little bit later. But let's start first with 2021. Vic the Viking Land. Vic the Viking area is back again. The Wiki Land as we called it at Pops Land Japan. It's coming to Marjolaine Kaunati in the future as well. Um, that's going to be coming to Marjolaine Kaunati next year in fact. Uh, before the Water Playground in 2021. That like I spoke about in that video. But in 2021, there is going to be another Wikiland, and this is at Holiday Park. And again, like the Marjolaine Canati one, like the Plop Slender Pound one, we have a splash battle and a disco coaster. So let's put the plans on your screen now. Find Dabby Dorsey. Look at that plans. Look at those plans. Don't they look lush? <laughs> That's the pure Yorkshire phrase. That don't they look lush? I think I think I'll be saying that when Secret Weapon Nine plans come out, uh, whenever that is. Uh, <laughs> uh, but looking back then at this uh, Vic the Viking area, I mean you can clearly see the outstretched. Uh, layout of the disco coaster and of course in the blue you can see the uh, layout for the splash battle as well um, They're going across on your screen now Fan Dabidorsi, that is what the area looks like currently now Obviously it's a 2021 thing so I wouldn't expect major foundation work to start until the beginning of next season um, You know you look at Marjolaine Canatis, you look at how fast that's gone up and you look where the construction progress is now. Again, look at that Marjolaine Kanati video that we did recently uh, in the last couple of days uh, to check that. Um, and now let's go across to 2024. This is an interesting one. So on your screen now, Fandabidoz, you can clearly see there, I mentioned Popsaku is going to get a hotel and indoor area for 2024. Well, the hotel part is coming to Holiday Park in 2024. So Popsaku and Holiday Park getting hotel investments in 2024. So... I'm, get, I'm already getting excited for 2024 and I don't know why. Uh, but basically, we've only got three major details about this hotel at the minute. We've got 80 rooms. Uh, so it's not the massive hotel. It's not like a Grand Alton Towers type hotel kind of thing. But it's just a decent amount of sized hotel. Uh, it's going to have a restaurant and it's also, in terms of location, it's going to be located near the entrance of the theme park. So, big point, even though it's only three and it's like only minimal stuff about it, it's three you know, even though there wasn't much information about those points, it's three precious points uh, about this new hotel in 2024. 80 rooms, it's going to have a restaurant, and it's located near the entrance of the theme park. Uh, so big, big details in a, such a small space, basically. Um, so there we go. So 2021, we're going to get a Viking area holiday park in Germany. Obviously, most of us enthusiasts will know what Holiday Park is. For those of you who don't know, uh, obviously one of the most iconic coasters in Europe, Expedition G-Force is there. Uh, that's a that's a big bucket list coaster for me. I know a lot. Of, I know a lot of people uh, that have done this coaster and have said it's brilliant. So uh, it's definitely a bucket list coaster for me. Expedition G-Force. I've always wanted to go out to Germany and try it, um, and hopefully one day in the future I'll be able to bring that to you for you guys. Um, obviously, like I said, 2021, we're going to get this new Viking area. So we've seen the Wikiland at Pops Land Japan. We see the Marjolaine Kainati one for next year in 2020 taking shape in the construction site. So I think this one will be no exception. I think the theming will be exactly the same as Pops Land, same as Kainati. I think the rock work for the disco coaster at these Viking areas is fantastic. Um, you know, and I feel like um, they've done a really cool job with this again. So. Um, you know, nothing new in terms of new attractions for this, but, you know, I feel like, you know, this is going to be a, a big attraction. This is going to be a big area for the park, so overall, very excited. 
Uh, and then of course 2024, getting that on-site accommodation, making you now we we spoke when we first spoke about Hall Depart getting this you know multi-million euro investment uh, in the next few years. We spoke about how. Um, you know, they should be making investments for the long term as well. And this hotel is no exception. This is a long term investment. This is a 2024 long term investment that's set to stay for so many years to come. You know, we spoke about on that video months ago about we want to see long term investments as well as short term investments. And I think they're really going to do that. I feel like there's a real. Um, obviously, you know, the Wikiland isn't a short term investment technically because. You know, it's a new land, it's going to be here for many, many years. But I, when I mean short term and long term, I mean like long term being like accommodation, resorts, the resort side of things, you know, things like that. Short term is your rides, attractions, areas, shows, entertainment, restaurants, etc. So, in terms of short term, I think that a Wikiland and a, and a slash Viking area, obviously, we don't know it's called Wikiland. Land. Same with Marjolaine Carnetti, we don't know it's called Wikiland yet, but we can assume it's going to be called Wikiland because of Pop Sign of Pam. But the Viking area, like I said, is a short-term investment because it's rising attractions uh, and it's very good. Uh, but the hotel, because it's a long-term thing, it's an accommodation-style resort kind of thing. Um, I think for a long-term accommodation, for a long-term investment, I feel like that's a pretty cool investment to go for. There's going to be a lot of critics saying it's only 80 rooms, but I think 80 rooms is decent-sized enough. So I'm staying completely positive with this. I think Paul Dupont have done a fantastic job with this. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this theme park news update from Holiday Park. That's all from the Pops of Pan presentation now. I've loved, I've absolutely loved bringing you the uh, news from this Pops of Fan presentation. If I was to pick a favourite, I think because I'm a coaster enthusiast as well as an overall theme park enthusiast, you guys know what I'm going to pick. It is, of course, uh, Pops Landy Pan's Extreme Spinning Coaster. It was codenamed Robo Spinner. Now on Relicos Database, it's called Time Traveller. Uh, that could be to do with the steampunk themed station that we showed you in the concept arts on that video Because uh, we have done a separate video away from the Bumba Kids area uh, that we showed you the concepts for in that um, Obviously we did a separate video between the Bumba Kids area and the extreme spinning coaster um, In that extreme spinning coaster we showed you a concept art of the station how it looked all steampunky with the word time on it then we sort of looked at Rollercoast Database off camera after the video was uploaded. We sort of saw it was called Time Traveller now on the, on the Rollercoast Database. Obviously, we hope that's not going to be the final name. Obviously, we know it's going to be a project name. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing, they may have gone away from the futuristic theme and decided to go steampunk, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Obviously, don't name it Time Traveller because that's a Silver Dollar City thing. But um, I think it won't be a bad name. But, I would like a different name, please. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If there was one negative, I would like a different name. Because I don't want two tram travellers. Uh, same coaster, same model of coaster. Um, just in different parts of the world. I would not like that. So, I would like a different name to show it's more steampunky. Uh, obviously, time travel is kind of a steampunky name. But, I'd like something, you know... You know what I mean, more steampunky and different to Time Traveller. So I'm hoping for the best with that. But overall, I think that's my favourite one. I think in terms of long-term investments, I'm excited for Pops Akus Hotel, Holiday Parks Hotel, both coming in 2024 along with the indoor area at Pops Aku. Obviously, the Bomber Kids area in 2022 at Pops on Japan. That looks fantastic. I'm sure they've got some other future projects in the works. Um... Obviously, we spoke about Marjolaine and Karen They've got the Viking area in 2020, Water Playground 2021. We showed you those very interesting concepts as well, uh, from a flat ride, a small-scale family ride, and it looks like a mini driving school as well. Is that 2021? Is it 2022? We don't know yet. Um, so, very, very cool there. Just loads of really, really cool stuff. Not massive, huge draw, multi-million pound attractions separately, but... They're just the right attractions. It doesn't have to be the biggest, baddest, scariest, you know, tallest, fastest, longest rides or of, of its kind. It doesn't have to be the tallest coaster than the fastest family ride in the world. It just has to be right for the park and right for their target market. And what they're doing here from the hotels to the themed areas to the coasters... Um, obviously the disco coaster technically isn't a coaster, but you know what I mean. The flat rides, the coasters, the hotels, the indoor area... Uh, the actual themed areas as well, the two Viking areas going in at Kaunati in 2020 and then Holiday Park in 2021. Uh, the, even, even the smaller investments, you know, you look at Pops of Koo, you look at the Windstars attraction from Zamperla that's themed to like the fairy tales and the fairies, that's going to be coming next year that we spoke about in that video. Um, 
You've also got the Water Playground for 2021 at Marjolaine Carnati. There's a lot of there's a, there's a range of things we've covered on these Pops of Fan presentation analysis videos. But overall, from all of that, I'm really excited for the future of the Pops of Parks. I think they've got a really exciting future ahead. Hopefully they acquire a couple more parks. I know uh, I did see on the presentation as well. I haven't shared it, but I know they are looking to build a couple more Marjolan parks in Poland. Uh, I know there's I know there's at least two. I think three. I, I, I think three, but I'm gonna get. I'm gonna stay with my uh, guess of two because there is at least two parks planned. There is at least two, but I thought there was a third. So I'm gonna stick with two for now. But there are still at least two parks planned for the Marjolan brand. Uh, in the next few years, in the next five, ten years. So, you know, I can't complain. I really can't complain about this group. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news room update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a future video. Comment down below. Comment down below what you think is the best of these announcements. You know, is it the attractions of Pops Aku? Is it Holiday Park? Is it Pop Sound of Pan? Is it Marjolaine Kaunati? Is it, um... Did you like the Aqua Park stuff? Are you excited for the new Marjolaine Parks in, in the next five, ten years? What are you most excited for about this? Please comment down below your thoughts down below. Thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell, Keelan the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.